Happy Mother's Day from the Philippines. We're at the Mission House here in Tanza. We're on the west coast of the island of Luzon. We're going to start with uh, singing just one bit, uh, one little bit here. Uh, but we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2. That would be 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2. Uh, Grace and peace to you uh, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the uh, Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all of our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Are you ready to, to go, sweetheart? Yes. Yes, Happy Mother's Day, everyone in the Philippines and to the whole world. Special mention to my beloved mother-in-law. Happy Mother's Day. And to you, Ned, Happy Mother's Day. To Kelly Swat, Laura. Happy Mother's Day, Sarah. Happy Mother's Day. To your mom. Happy and happy Mother's Day to you. Yes, my love. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. So we are ready to sing before we will impart the Word of God for everyone tonight. We will be finding the strong man because there is plenty of uh, uh, circumstances that the enemy is bringing in the lives of many people, many many children of God. We need to find that strong one. We will not just allow to keep on accepting it in our lives, but we must bind it in Jesus' name. Amen. Strong man, releasing the captives, slaying the lion. We're slaying the lion. We're setting the prison free. We're going down fire. We're going down fire. We're going down fire. Slaying the lion, we're setting the prisoners free. We're going down fire. We're going down fire. We're going down fire.
the battle is our Lord, the hill has failed. We will go forward and praise in the name of Jesus. And that's the key is vengeance on the power of the earth. As we clap our hands, we will strike the enemy. As we dance with joy, the horns of hell will flee. As we leave our hands, this battle will be raised with the shout of victory. His name will be praised. As we clap our hands, we will strike the enemy. Yeah. 
19th century, pure and holy, tried and true, the thanksgiving from our hearts, that we will continue to serve you as a living sanctuary for you alone, to glorify your holy name forever and ever. Amen. For tonight, Lord, we will continue to honor you and to observe your Holy Spirit Hallelujah, to guide us, to direct us with your fullness, with the fullness of your anointing. Hallelujah, be upon your servant, O Lord, who will speak tonight the right message, hallelujah, needed for the world today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Today, my sweetheart is going to translate for me into Tagalog because this is for the people in the Philippines too. Okay. Yeah. Today we want to talk about probably the, the mother most rudely treated by the body of Christ in all of history. You need to catch that or else they won't know what we're doing. We're going to talk about the woman most badly judged by the church in all of history. Yeah, that would be talking about uh, tungkol sa asawa ni Job. Na talagang tinutulig sa sapagkat siya po ay patuloy na nangod siya sa pananampalabaya ni Job, sapagkat, oh, okay, sapagkat hindi na niya matiis ang hirap na dinadanas ni Job at yan po ang uh, ay na-misinterpret po siya ng maraming iglesia. We have forgotten that our Father in Heaven, He is the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Nakalimutan po natin na ang ating Diyos ang masalangit ay puspos po ng kahabagan at siya po ang Diyos ng uh, nagbibigay ano uh, sa atin comfort ang hirap naman tagalogin ang comfort na ito we need to put ourselves in her shoes kailangan din natin ilagay ang ating mga paa sa kanyang sapatos para malaman natin kung bakit siya nagkaganong now, I've never been a mom, but I've known a few moms, and my sweetheart is a mom. Yeah. My mom is a mom. Hindi naman po siya naging ina, pero alam niya po ang kalagayan ng isang ina sapagkat meron naman siyang ina. The Bible tells us that uh, this mom had sons and daughters and they used to gather at the older brother's house. I guess that would be the, uh, would that be the Kuya house? Sa pasimula po ng, ng pitulo ng Job, kita po natin doon na meron siya mga anak. Anak na mga babae at mga lalaki. And uh, while they were enjoying dinner their oldest uh, brother's house there there was a uh, messenger came and told the parents and uh, told them that they lost all of their cattle all of their sheep they lost everything Habang sila ay nagkakasayahan, naroon po ang isang alipin, taga mga siwa, na nagbigay uh, ng ulat sa kanila na ang kanilang mga tupa, ang kanilang mga baka, baka ay nangamatay lahat. And uh, while he was still giving them the bad news, the Bible says that there came another 
and said that the fire of God, maybe it was lightning, uh, fell down from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them and I was the only one escaped to tell you. Verse 16. Habang hindi pa ito, kanakatapos ng pagbabalita ng may dumating pang isa. Sinabi naman ito kay Job, ang mga tupa at mga pastol ay tinamaan po ng kiglat. At namatay na lahat. Ako lamang po ang makaligtas. And so you got to remember, not only did this happen to Job, but this was happening to his wife also. They just taking, they just, right there, they had severe financial loss. Some of you had severe financial loss in the past year and you've not yet recovered. Hindi naman si Job ang nawalan ng mga ng mga resources na ito kundi kasama rin naman ang kanyang asawa na nawalan ng mga bagay-bagay lalo pag-usapan natin ang pera. At marami na rin pong mga nakaranas ng katulad ng nangyari sa kanila sapagkat halos lahat sa atin ay nawalan din naman ng mga pananalapi ng mga nagdaang panahon katulad ng pandemya na ito tayo ay sinubok sa ating mga pananalapi And so while they were still getting the bad news another servant or another employee came and said that the Chaldeans they came upon the the camels and carried them away and slain the other employees uh, with the edge of the sword. And I am the only one who has escaped to tell you. Umuugong pa halos ang salita nito ay may dumating na naman. Ang sabi ay sinalakay po kami ng tatlong pangkat ng mga kaldeyo. Kinuha nila ang lahat ng kamilyo at pinatay ang mga pastol. Ako lamang po ang nakatakas. And while he was still speaking, there came another and said, Your sons, and probably their wives, and your daughters, the Bible doesn't tell us how many daughters there were, but they probably had husbands. They probably had children, grandchildren, but they were, y'all, have probably had uh, family gatherings like that where you have a big party. Hindi pa siya alos nakatapos magsalita, may dumating pang isa at ang sabi, habang ang mga anak ninyo ay nagkakainan at nagiinuman sa bahay, yung pinakamatanda nilang kapatid, hinampas ng napakalakas na hangin ang bahay at bumagsak. Nabagsakan po silang lahat at namatay. Ako lamang po ang natirang buhay. And it sounds like in verse 19 that there must have been like a sandstorm or a tornado. And it caused the house where they were gathered to collapse. Ang nangyari po ay nagkaroon ng matinding buhawi. Okay. At ang kanilang tahanan ay mga tumba ng buhawi, malakas na hangin. When, uh, when disaster strikes you in your house, it hurts. Kung ang salot ay dumating sa mga tahanan ng marami, ito po ay talagang napakasakit. And uh, this mom had just lost all of her children and probably her grandchildren. She lost everything. At ang nanay na ito ay nawala ng mga anak, mga manugang siguro at mga apo. Sila ay nawala ng lahat-lahat sa kanilang buhay. It's not good to lose a child. Hindi po mainam na mawalan tayo ng mga anak. But she lost them all. 
and her grandchildren probably too all so, at one time subalit na wala po lahat ang kanyang mga anak hindi lang isang nawala kundi lahat ng kanyang mga anak sa isang iglap lang lahat ay nangamatay ay hindi kasama na rin ang mga apo and her husband the one that she trusted in she, he was struck with boils at ang kanyang asawa na kanyang ka kaagapay, katuwang sa buhay ay tinubuan ng maraming bukol. I know what it's like to I know what it's like to lose uh, children. It's not fun. Alam po niya kung paano mawala, mawalan ng mga anak. Hindi po masaya. Hindi po kasaya-saya. They had lost great revenue and they had lost all of their children. Now unless you've lost that many children and probably your grandchildren too, it's not right for you to sit in judgment of that poor woman. Kung kayo po ang mawala ng ganun katindi na sitwasyon sa buhay, nawalan ka na ng lahat-lahat na -lahat, inaasahan mo sa, at mga anak. When people hurt, sometimes people will say things that they mean at that time in the middle of their tragedy, but they wouldn't say it any other time. Ganyan po talaga ang nangyayari sa mga tao kapag sila ay nasa pagsubok o matinding pagsubok, bagyo ng buhay. Nararanasan po nila yan at nakakapagsalita po ng mga bagay na hindi po kasiyasiyan. People in the body of Christ um, can be very judgmental and they can also be very cruel. Naaring mga ang ibang Membro ng iglesia ay nagiging ganun po sa panahon ng mga pagsubok na dumadating sa buhay ng marami. Mahaling yung iba ay nagsasalita ng hindi tama. Mas lalo pang nakakabigay ng kirot sa puso ng mga nasawian. I don't have enough uh, fingers and toes to count up the Many times I've heard that poor mother condemned in churches across the world. Maraming beses na po niyang narinig ang mga uh, sa, sa bawat iglesia na may mga magulang talaga, may mga membro talagang nag-aalipusta. Uh, Mas lalo pa nilang nilalait o nuhusgahan ang isang ina. Hindi lang sa isang iglesia, kundi alos karamihan sa buong mundo. It has been pastor after pastor and church after church. They condemn this poor mom who has lost everything, including her, all of her children, mm -hmm. all of her grandchildren. Yan pong naririnig niyang minsahe palagi sa mga simbahan na uh, lagi pong nakukundina ng maraming mga pastor, maraming iglesia ang kalagayan ng asawa ni Job. People have said, and I've heard it said, I wonder what they did so wrong that God would punish people like the lost of a child. Maraming nagsasalita. Hindi nila alam kung paano nangyari ang mga bagay na yan. Kung bakit nangyari ang mga bagay na yan, lalo na ang pagkawala ng anak, ng mga anak. I've heard people say, wow, they must have really sinned against God for this to happen to them. Maraming mga tao nagsasabi, siguro ang dami ng mga kasalanan nila kaya nangyari sa kanila ang mga ganyang salot. 
And if you're honest, you've heard can people condemn this poor mom and others like this poor mom. You've heard it too. Kung kayo nga po ay tutuo sa inyong buhay, narinig din naman ninyo ang mga salita ng pagkukundina sa habag-habag na babae nito. And this Mother's Day, all around the world, there are moms who have lost their children, sometimes as adults, just like here. At ngayon ay mga katulad ng mga ina, ngayong Mother's Day, alam natin maraming mga nanay na walang din ang mga anak. When you uh, lose a child or your grandchildren, this is uh, wipe out the whole family. The Holy Day still come around. Mother's Day, it still comes around every year. Kapag nawalan po kayo ng mga anak bilang isang ina, hindi ko alam kung ano pang sinasabi niya kanina. Nakakalimutan ko yung iba. Pero ang panahon ng bawat uh, bawat taon ay dumadating ang Mother's Day. We should be more like our Father in Heaven. Maging katulad, kailangan maging katulad po tayo ng ating Ama na sa langit. Because while too many of His servants have condemned Job's wife, this poor mom, from this terrible loss, that's not the action of our Father in Heaven. Sapagkat kung marami ang pumutya o humusga sa asawa ni Job dahil sa kanyang mga sinabi sa kanyang asawa at sa Diyos, hindi po ganun ang ating Diyos ang masalami. The Holy Spirit has led me this way because there are many of you who have lost children. Ang manal na Espiritu Santo ay nagsasalita sa kanya sapagkat marami po sa mga iglesia o sa mga tao sa mundong ito ang nawalan din ng mga anak. Some of you have lost adult sons and daughters. Ang iba sa inyo ay nawala ng mga matatandang mga anak at anak na lalaki at babae. You never stop being a mom. Hindi po tumitigil ang pagiging ina natin. You never quit being a father. Hindi rin tumitigil ang pagiging ama ng isang magula, ng isang ama sa tahanan. Now, I realize that not everybody is a good mom and not everybody is a good dad. Inaunawaan ko na hindi lahat ay mabuting, mabubuting ina at hindi lahat ay mabuting ama ng tahanan. But the loss of sons and daughters, it happens to the good also. Subalit ang pag, pag, uh, pa, ang mawalan ng mga anak nangyari din sa mga mabubuting tao, hindi lang sa masama. You might have some people in your church, parents, who are very bitter, but it might be because they've lost children. Marami sa mga iglesia ay talagang napakapait ng pagramdam nila sa kanilang mga buhay, mga pangyayari, dahil sa mga pangyayari sa kanilang buhay na walang sila ng mga anak. And the process of grief there's nowhere in the Bible that tells you how long is too long to grieve after you've had a terrible loss. Ang proseso ng kalungkutan o kapigatian ay napakahaba. Hindi natin alam kung hanggang kailan matatapos. Depende kung ikaw ay magpapaalim sa Panginoon. There's no book out there that tells us how long to grieve because the the process of grief is different for every person. 
Walang aklat na nagsasabi kung hanggang kailan matatapos ang kapigatian sa iyong puso. Sapagkat napakahirap, iba-iba pong sitwasyon ang mangyari sa buhay ng maraming tao. Now the book of Job tells us that God, He gave Job more sons and daughters and grandchildren. Ngayon ang aklat ni Job ay tumukoy po na pagkatapos ng maraming pagsubok sa kanilang buhay ay binigyan siyang muli ng panibagong mga anak. But the Bible tells us that his wife never left him. Subalit ang Biblia ay nagsasabi na ang kanyang asawa kailanman hindi sinasabi ng banal na kasulatan na ang asawa ni Job ay iniwan siya. His wife never left him. Ang kanyang asawa hindi siya iniwan ng kanyang asawa. And that type of loss that that does break up families many times. At ang ganyang pangyayari yung kawalan sa sa kawalan ng mga mahal sa buhay ay nakakasira po yan ang pamilya. Marami pagkakataon ang nangyayari. And they had lost everything. At nawala nga po ang lahat sa kanila. So we want to be more like our Father in Heaven. We're supposed to be like our Father. So mahalaga po na maging katulad po tayo ng Ama natin sa langit na mahabagin. So we know that our Father in Heaven, He's a Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. Ating Ama sa langit ay Ama ng habagan at Diyos ng kaaliwan. He uh, comforts those who are in any trouble, any tribulation. Inaalaw niya ang ang mga tao nandun sa mabigat na mga pagsubok na sa mga itna ng kapigatian. Ang ama natin sa langit ay nag-aalaw ng mga ganong tao. Our Father in Heaven is prepared to comfort you Ang ama natin sa langit ay laging handa upang ikaw ay aliwin. And to help you in any tribulation. At tulungan ka sa lahat ng uri ng mga pagsubok o kapighatian. He didn't say some of your tribulation. He says all. Hindi niya sinabi ang ilan lang sa inyong mga kapighatian. Hindi lahat. We're uh, trying to emulate our Father in Heaven. Kailangan natin, so kailangan natin gaya ng ating ama sa langit. So that's what we extend to you today is through Jesus the Son, you can have the comfort of the Father. Yan po ang binabahagi namin sa inyo sa oras na ito. Kung meron po tayong Kristo sa ating buhay, magkakaroon po tayo ng, ng kaaliwan mula sa ating Ama sa langit. We want to pray with those who hurt and those who have also been hurt by churches and pastors. Nais po namin panalangin ang lahat ng mga nasa kapigatian ngayon lahat ng mga nasaktan at ang lahat na nanakit din sa mga iglesia. Most times when the children of God sin it's because they don't know the scriptures. Kalimitan nagkakasala ang mga anak ng Diyos dahil hindi nila alam ang salita ng Diyos. They may have met well but because they didn't know the scriptures, they didn't show mercy and they didn't show comfort. Okay. They didn't show mercy and they didn't know, they didn't show comfort because they were too busy judging people. So, ganun na yun. 
Let's pray right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we bring to you those who write really hurt bad because of loss in their life. We pray for those who might hurt because they've lost sons and daughters. And sometimes, Father God, uh, the church and the preachers, they didn't show compassion. They just instead say, I wonder what they did to make God so mad. So, Father, I pray that... Uh, we would allow your Holy Spirit to speak to your children who want to do the right thing. And Lord, forgive them of their sin. But Father, forgive, uh, help those who uh, need comfort yes, Lord. and did not receive that comfort yes, Lord. from your people. Yeah. So Father... Uh, we know that through your son the damage can be repaired. Amen. We pray, Father God, that uh, your people would be more like you, more like our Father which is in heaven. Yes, God. And some have been... Uh, they have been broken hearted for many years. Yes, Lord. But your word says, forgive us of our sins as we forgive others who Amen. have sinned against us. Yes, Lord. If you want help from God, yes, Lord. you've got to release that bitterness yes. towards the other people. You have to release that bitterness. Now, that bitterness might not be because of uh, loss of a child. Sometimes it's loss of a living child, sometimes. And uh, we have to forgive. Because the Bible says, forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned yes, against so. us. Father God, that's not always easy. But Father, the Apostle Paul said he brought to you that thorn in the flesh. And that you, Father, elected not to take it away. But you told Paul and you tell us that my grace is sufficient. My grace is enough. Yes, sir. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Yes, Lord. Father, I just pray that your children would be bold enough to admit to you, Father God, yes, when Lord. they are weak and not to pretend to be strong, mm. but to be strong in you, Lord, yes, Lord, and in the power of your might. Amen. We thank you. And we praise you. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you that you hear our prayers when we come to you yes, Lord. in the authority of Jesus Christ, yes. your Son. Yes, Lord. We pray. Yes. And so, um, my wife has, is busy behind the scenes. <laughs> You know, many times we can't see what our Father in Heaven is doing because He's working off stage. He's working behind the scenes. You can count on the fact that our Father, He's working behind the scenes yes. for His children. Which one are all right, on the yeah, brink of, of a miracle? She really likes this song. Yeah, um, 
that is an encouragement song for those who are uh, very much oppressed of the situation in the midst of uh, afflictions and uh, test in life. I'm telling you that we don't need to give up because the miracle of God is overwhelming because He is still on the throne. And His power never changes from yesterday to today and forever. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give in, God is still on His throne. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give up, God is still on His Just always remember 
that we are not alone. God is always with us as he promised us, hallelujah, that he will be with us until the end of this age as we are doing the will of God in our lives to go and preach the good news, teaching them all things whatsoever he had commanded us and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. And then the promises of God is upon us. We have nothing to worry about. Hallelujah. His miracle is overwhelming. Don't give up. God is still on his throne. Yes. And God bless you. Here in the Philippines, Mother's Day is about over. It's it's nighttime, dark time. But uh, in the Western Hemisphere, you, uh, I encourage you to take time to check on your mom, check on your parents, and uh, if you can, take them out to eat. Uh, <laughs> celebrate uh, today. It's celebrate good. the time you have with your mom. Amen. You're going to call mom after this, right? Yes, I'm yeah. going to do that. Okay. So, so God uh, bless you and keep you and allow his light to shine upon you. And in Spanish, Dios libendega, may God bless you. Amen. And before anything else, we never forgot to give our sincere hearts and comfort to the family of Pastor Rodel Alejandro, to the family of Pastor Edgar, and of course we have members, we have brethren who are in the sickness, they are in bed, and we are all praying that everyone will be uh, fine in there because God is moving. We are on the brink of a miracle if we will continue to stand on the promises of God. We are praying for all of you and we love you. Thank you and communicate with us. Hit the like button, the share button, definitely the share button. Again, y'all be blessed in Jesus' name and go forth and make disciples.